continuous random quantity. Here, the sample space is real numbers. So practically they are infinite. When we compare this with discrete random quantities, there we had only finite quantities. But in continuous, we deal with real numbers, therefore they are infinite. Now coming to the calculation of the probability, suppose we want to find probability for one value, suppose a. This would be mod of a by infinite because we have many values. So when we divide a finite number with an infinite value, this turns to be zero. So when we are dealing with continuous random variables, we never calculate for one specific value. We always take limits or for a specific range. So from now, for continuous random variables, we'll be writing probability as probability of x, which is between a and b. And the formula to calculate this is integral f of x dx, and it extends from a to b. And this probability is called probability density function. There are a few things to note for PDF. First one is for all the random values, we assume that f of x is always greater than 0. That means it should never go to negative values. The second thing is when we integrate f of x from negative infinity to positive infinity, it has to become 1. And this is a very, very important rule which we'll be using in many numerical questions. And the third point is this PDF is not a probability because we are trying to integrate it from a set of values, it can sometimes become more than one, which violates the laws of probability. Therefore, though we call it as probability density function, which some way relates to probability, but as such, it is not a discrete probability. Okay. Even for continuous random variables, we try to find out two metrics. One is expectation. The second one is variance. And the formulas are very much similar. So let me list out expectation and few called as mean. And the formula for this is integral x f of x dx extends from negative infinity to positive infinity. The next is variance, where v of x is expectation of x square minus expectation of x whole square. All right, this is enough to start with the problems. So let's quickly take few previous year questions. Here is a question asked in gate 2015. See, the probability density function of a random variable f of x equals x by 4, 4 minus x square, which extends from 0 to 2, and it is 0 if it is otherwise. The mean of the random variable is. So here mean means nothing but expectation. So let's solve this using the formula. Expectation is integral x f of x dx, which extends from negative infinity to positive infinity. And because it is defined between the limit 0 to 2, let's try to break this interval. I can write this as negative infinity to 0 plus 0 to 2 plus and 2 to infinity. And now if you look at the values, it's given that 0 to 2, there's a function and rest of the region, it is 0. So this value becomes 0 and here also it is 0. Therefore, this whole term we can eliminate and this whole term we can eliminate. Whenever you see other regions to be 0, you can leave this negative infinity to positive infinity. Just confine your limits to 0 to 2 because that is the only region where function is defined. So this can be written as 0 to 2 x f of x dx. Now let's substitute the function. This becomes this one. And when we expand this, x square minus x power 4 by 4 dx. Now here we need to integrate this. For that, let me use the integration formula. Integral x power n dx is x power n plus 1 by n plus 1. This becomes x cubed by 3 minus x power 5 by 20 extends from 0 to 2. Now let's substitute the intervals. It leads to the answer 16 by 15, which is 1.066. That's the answer. Here we have a question asked in gate 2013 CE. Find the value of x such that the function f of x is valid probability density function. f of x is lambda into x minus 1 into 2 minus x between the intervals 1 to 2 and it is 0 otherwise. Now to solve this, let's take this formula. We already know integral negative infinity to infinity f of x dx must be 1. So let's integrate this f of x. So this can be written as now in this, it's given that otherwise it is 0. So we can directly change the limits from 1 to 2. We need not worry about the rest of the region. Now let's expand this. It becomes lambda into minus x square plus 3x minus 2 dx. Now once we integrate this, we get this. And when we substitute these limits, it becomes, we get the lambda as 6. Here's a question asked in computer science gate 2016. A probability density function on the interval a to 1 is given by 1 by x square and outside this interval the value of the function is 0. 
the value of a is dash. Now to solve this, let's write the function f of x. f of x is given as 1 by x square and the limits are a to 1 and it is 0 otherwise. And we already know negative infinity to infinity f of x dx is 1. So let's use this. So we can write this as integral a to 1, 1 by x square dx must be 1. And here we are taking the interval a to 1 only because other regions it is 0. Now let's integrate this. It turns to be minus 1 by x. And when you substitute these values, we get the value of a as 1 by 2, which is 0 